Twas the night before Christmas on Tatooine. Not a creature was stirring except for Palpatine. He threw on a coat, some boots, and a hat, and was out the door in ten seconds flat. The Jedis were nestled all snug in their shack, dreaming of Episode Eight not being another Empire Strikes Back. The thought of Christmas made the Emperor annoyed, so he set out to ruin it for every man, woman, and droid. The Sith Lord felt about twenty feet taller as he rode towards Moss Eisley atop a giant sand crawler. Over the horizon, the sight was quite frightening. A crippled old Santa lit up with chain lightning. As he approached the town, he reflected on his plan to destroy its inhabitants' spirits the best that he can. One of the facts that could never be denied was his desire to turn all of the Jedi to the dark side. Upon his arrival, he slid out the chute with a twinkle in his eye and a sack full of loot. He paused for a moment to take out his list to ensure that no one on Tatooine was missed. There's Leia, there's Luke, Qui-Gon and Rey, Obi-Wan, Windu and Yoda, they all will pay. My presence on Christmas will make the light side cower. All the resistance will fall victim to my power. He approached the first home like a creepy old stalker, with the name on the mailbox reading, Skywalker. In a flash, he awkwardly slipped down the chimney, losing his footing and bruising his kidney. As he got up from the floor to dust off the soot, Luke's new pet Womp Rat latched onto his foot. The Senate's next move came with no remorse, as he subdued the feral creature by use of the Force. After receiving that terrible spook, he said, I must continue my search for Luke. Before proceeding, he sensed another hater, when suddenly from down the chimney appeared Darth Vader. What are you doing here? Palpatine said. He replied, I couldn't sleep, so I came here instead. I don't know when you are going to learn. It is my duty to ensure that Luke does turn. It doesn't matter. Which of us is better? We would get more accomplished if we both worked together. As they argued, from the chimney came a horrible crash. Then there arose a figure completely covered in ash. The person arriving was none other than Santa, dropping in to Moss Eisley on his way from Atlanta. Ho, 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 you're pathetic, you couple of rookies. At least you didn't take my milk and cookies. Why are you out spreading hatred and fear? Christmas is for spreading joy and cheer. I'm sick of dealing with you, he said with dismay. So he stuffed them in a pod, and he sent them away. He filled up the stockings and put gifts under the tree. No one works harder on Christmas than he. As he hopped in his X-Wing to head to Naboo, he shouted, Merry Christmas to all, and may the Force be with you.